Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll show you how to change the saw blade on this miter saw. So real quick before we get started, the most important thing when changing the saw blade is to make sure the saw is unplugged. You don't want the saw to accidentally start if your fingers are anywhere near the blade. So right now we're on the left side of the saw blade. There's two bolts, one right here and one right here that need loosened. They don't actually need taken out, but loosening these up will give you access to the saw blade. So this tool comes with the saw. You'll use this end on these two bolts and then this end, which is a hex end, on the inside bolt right here. If you're like me, you probably have lost this and you don't know where it is. So I'll just be using a regular X bit. This is a T30 and the hex key is a six millimeter for this inside bolt right here. So we'll start with this bolt here. And if you lift the blade guard a little bit, this will slide down, which will give you access to this. So you don't have to take it all the way out, just loosen it a bit. And then we can go to the other bolt up here. So you'll have to hold the blade guard out of the way. And then this can just be loosened. This screw will need to come out a bit further than the other one, but you don't have to take it out all the way. So with this bolt loosened, this piece can slide up and out of the way, which will then let you access this inside bolt. So this is a six millimeter hex wrench and the threads on these are reversed. So you'll turn this right to loosen it rather than left to loosen it. Now when you put this in, the blade will spin. So if you come to the other side of the saw blade, there's a button right here that if you push this and spin the blade, it'll lock the blade in place. So when this button finally pushes in, the blade will be locked in place and you can loosen the nut on the other side. So I'm holding the button on the other side so now I can turn to the right to loosen this bolt. So this bolt comes out and then this piece will come off. And now the blade can be taken out. So here's the blade out of the saw. As I mentioned, I wanna clean all of the teeth and then I'll put the blade back on. All right, so the saw blade is nice and clean. Everything looks good. Now I can put this back on the saw. So it can be a little tricky to get the blade back in place. One thing that'll really help is if you pop this piece off right here. So all you have to do is squeeze on here and then push down and this piece will come right out. This will give you more room to get the blade back in place. And then you can take the blade and put it right back up in here. Remember that the blade spins this way, so you'll want the teeth facing downward. So the blade can be a little tricky to get back up in there. The easiest way to do this is to take the blade and tilt it this way just a little and then try to keep Keep the main pressure of the blade up here. So we'll tilt the blade a little bit this way. This is what it'll look like from this angle. And here's what it'll look like from this angle. So with the blade back in place, you can put this piece back over here and then put the hex nut back in place. Remember the threads are reversed, so you'll turn left to tighten here. Now before you get this tightened, you wanna pop this piece back in place. This is how this will go. So this curve faces back. So these top buttons here will go in the slot right here, and then the bottom button will go in the bottom slot. So pinch these together, and then you can pop this around the saw blade. So when that's back in place, it sort of forms a rectangle right here with the curve right here facing back. It can pivot this way. So when it can do that, that's how you know that you have it on correctly. So with this back in place, we can tighten up the three screws, this one being first, and then everything is ready to go. Don't forget on this piece that this slot needs to go all the way down on the screw here. Then that can be tightened. So when you have everything back on, the blade should not spin freely. There's some resistance on it. You can go ahead and plug the saw in and it's ready to go. So that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.